Bob Baxter. Let me be the first to introduce you to the quick hone. What the quick hone is, is a jig that we use for sharpening our planer or our joiner knives. It's a unique jig that holds the blades at 90 degrees to one another or the edge of the blade at a 45 degree to the sharpening surface. Today I want to demonstrate it for you. Now, the way this tool works is you need to have a flat surface to sharpen off of. You can use a granite block. You can use what I'm using here, which is a, a piece of tempered glass. Or even if you know that the cast iron on your table saw is nice and flat, you can sharpen on top of that. The first step to be able to sharpen your joiner or planer knives is to remove them from your joiner, and you need to flatten out the back side, making sure you have a nice flat surface. Now, I have no major nicks in my knife, so I'm going to work with a 220 grit all the way through a 600 grit. Never sharpen beyond a 600 grit on a joiner or planer knife because you've created too sharp of an edge that's too brittle for the application that you're using the knife for. Now, I like a glass plate system because there's something that's very unique about it here. The glass plate system allows me to put all four grits on the piece of glass at one time, so I don't have to change out through my sharpening process. This is my 320, I'm sorry, 220. This is my 320. We flip over and we've got our 400 and our 600 grit all on the same surface. Now, you can use some, a little bit of water on here as well to help the sharpening process. The way our quick hone works is real simple. It works with two joiner knives at a time. So you say, what happens if I have a three joiner knife system? Well, it also works with a three joiner knife system as well. And that's what we're going to show you how to do today. So the very first step is to take your knives, walk them through the process by flattening out the back side. Now I would recommend putting on a set of gloves so your fingers don't come across that sharp edge. We take the flat surface, place it down on our 320, and work from the top side, giving it 10 strokes on each knife, and we check the back to make sure we're nice and flat. From there, we're going to go through all the grits. From the 220 to the 320, 10 strokes. Flip our system over. We're going to go over to the 400, 10 strokes, and then over to the 600, 10 strokes. And what you'll find is you get a nice, clean, flat back surface on your joiner knives. You're going to continue that process on all three knives. Now, once you've got the back side of the knife flattened, you're ready for the next step. Take a black Sharpie marker, and you're going to number the back side of the knives. In this case, you can see I already have mine numbered. This is number one, number two, and number three. The reason why you want to number these is because you've got three sets of knives here that you need to put 20 strokes on each one and have it come out evenly. And the only way to do that is through this process. So take your quick hone. I'm using a six inch quick hone. My knives are six inches. If you have larger knives or planer knives, we do sell it available in a 12 inch model. Now, some guys have pick, picked up the 12 inch model, even though they only have six inch joiner knives, because you can put all three joiner knives in the 12 inch model and do it in one step. I'm going to use the six inch with the six inch knives through this process so you can understand how it works. I'm going to take knife number one and we're going to place that into the jig. We want to make sure that we're flat against the bottom of our quick hone jig. Now one of the great things about our quick hone jig here is that it is extruded aluminum. And what that means is when we're using water, it's not going to cause it to warp or swell or rust. It truly is a lifetime jig that you purchase. So that's the knife number one. We're going to go ahead and put knife number two into the opposite side of the jig, just like so. Again, we want to make sure that the knife is pressed all the way down inside that groove, and we're going to tighten up our Allen screws and lock it into place. It only takes a couple seconds to load that. Now, if you take a look at our knives here, you're going to see that these two knives are at a 90 degree to one another. The joiner knife has a 45 degree edge on it. That means when we take that and place that down on our abrasive, it is a perfectly flat, stable surface. We don't have to worry about trying to hold that angle of the knife. It becomes a very easy, simple way to sharpen your knives and be consistent. Now, what we found is that we found it takes 20 strokes per knife. Now, I'm going to flip my plate back over to get to my 320 grit, uh, 220 grit abrasive is where we're starting. And what we're going to do is take our quick home and we're going to do 10 strokes on it. So we've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From there, we're going to move over to the 320 grit and do the same ten strokes. We're going to flip our plate over and we're going to go to the 400 grit and do our same ten strokes. And then finally the 600 grit for ten strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what that means is that we're halfway there. We've got 10 strokes on knife number one, 10 strokes on knife number two. Now, what I'm going to do right now is remove knife number two. Pull that out. And we're going to replace that with knife number three. Lock into place. Again, we're going to make sure that we have that pressed all the way down. We're going to flip our abrasive over, back to the 220 grit, and put the 10 strokes on there. So our knives are sitting flat again, and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to progressively go through the over to the 320 grit, flip the plate over again, and we're going to do it through the 400 and then over to the 600. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, when you flip your quick cone over, what you're going to find out is knife number one has now got 20 strokes on it all the way through the grit. Knife number three only has 10. So what we want to do is we want to remove knife number one, because that knife is actually completely sharpened. We pull that out and set it to the side. We then grab knife number two, and we put that into place. Locking it in with our set screws here and here. We're going to flip our glass plate system back over, back to the 320 grit. Set our quick comb back onto the 220 grit, I'm sorry, the coarser grit. Set it back on top and do 10 more strokes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to progressively go to the 320. We're going to flip that over to the 400 and over to the 600. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now what that means is we've got 20 strokes on knife number two, we've got 20 strokes on knife number three, and of course knife number one already has 20 strokes. That means our joiner knives are completely sharpened and we're ready to install them back into our joiner. This is one of the quickest jigs and handiest jigs for any shop to have around, and I highly recommend picking one of these up. The last time I set out my joiner knives to be sharpened, I believe I spent about $35 to have the set of three sharpened. This jig will quick, quickly pay for itself in a very short period of time. My name is Bob Baxter, and thanks for watching the little demonstration on the Quick Home.